building up your internal credit review program, uh, easily accessing changes from period to period and easily identifying your top borrowers and concentrations of credit. That's uh, a big function that the tool uses uh, that allows us to use to, to drill down into our, our data. And every month I'll upload, the pro, upload our data and we can track it from period to period. And that's what this snapshot and drill down is. It's, it gets very granular and you can see uh, changes in your um, watch list, classified, substandard, new loans, rates, past due trends, anything and everything, this, this will track for you. And that will come out with some standard reports and, and it gives you targets from all of that data. So, you know, if you have a credit review objective that you're gonna look at X amount of percent of your portfolio, this allows you to really find, you know, a hot spot or a segment or an industry that, you know, you may see that you're experiencing some trouble before you would realize there's trouble. So um, that's a very important piece of this uh, the tool. And another thing we use it for is to build and incorporate our relationships. And within the tool, you can assign relationships among um borrowers and their entities or related entities uh, very simply and on the fly. And that sticks with the program so you can track growth within those relationships um, and view their balance and ex overall exposure for your, uh, your, your board reporting and just to see um, a, a good view of how they stack up in your portfolio. And the concentrations, uh, not just with relationships, but with industries and, you know, your standard uh, uh, capital plus your allowance for credit losses ratios to look at all your your different industries to hit your benchmarks and uh, make sure you are uh, moving along to policy and tracking any growth in areas uh, that was expected or unexpected. So. Yeah, and so um, I'll pivot really quickly to um, the IntelliCredit application here and show a couple examples just to, just to give an idea more specifically of what uh, Mitch has just, just described. So um, we, we work with many, many banks, and one weakness that we've identified in the, in the data that we um, see from banks is relationship groupings. And so we built this tool that's very, very easy to use that essentially allows you to search for any particular loan or group of loans or, or, or borrower um, and essentially just say, hey, all of these loans here are related. So I'm going to put them all in this partic one single particular relationship and just hit apply. And then um, all those loans are now in the same relationship. And then when you're in the analytics tool and looking through your top relationships, all of that information is automatically um, integrated and, and reflected in these in these um, relationship reports. Um, and so here we're looking at your top relationships. You can very easily look at top 10 or, or even top 50 and see what the concentration of the capital is and so on. You can even show this by industry as um, Mitch pointed out. And then he also mentioned this credit overview page where you can very easily see summary information about two particular points in time in the portfolio um, and very quickly refer reference the change that's occurred between those points in time. So if we see a $2 million increase in classified here, for example, I can click on that and get a breakdown of, of where how we got to that $2 million change. So we have two and a half million that were added, half a million removed, and there we get to that $2 million uh, bottom line figure. And here are the loans that were uh, part of that uh, change. So one loan upgraded and two loans added to classified. So that, that, that type of drill down is, is true throughout or is present throughout the application um, and can, excuse me, and can um, really be a big part of how you get from that, the what to the why. And lastly, um, the concentration report that Mitch mentioned here, um, the you can easily reference your percentages of capital or your concentration figures for every product type in the portfolio, as well as any um, custom um, 
product type. So I could do ag, for example, I could do regulatory CRE or regulatory CND, very, very quick um, and easy ways to reference these numbers um, about your portfolio.